हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज विपिन मिश्रा एंड वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आईएमएस गेट एकेडमी हैव यू एवर थॉट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट व्हाट इज द टोटल इंस्टॉल्ड कैपेसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन इंडिया आई मीन टू से हाउ मच इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इंडिया इज कैपेबल ऑफ जनरेटिंग एंड व्हिच पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज जनरेटिंग मोर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड व्हाट इज द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एंड व्हाट इज द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ नॉन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी व्हाट एक्सेलरेटेड एफर्ट वी आर पुटिंग इन टू इंक्रीज द मोर एंड मोर रिन्यूएबल पार्ट well if you are really wondering with this question this is a must to watch video for you because i am going to take you i am going to discuss here the complete power sector of india at a glance so let's have a look if i talk about what is the total installed capacity of electrical energy in india then the total capacity right now in the year 2024 is around 427000 megawatt If I compare this generation capacity with respect to 2012, we were able to generate only 1 lakh 99 thousand megawatt of installed capacity. We have we were able to generate this much of electricity. As compared to this data, if you see in the year 2024, this has increased up to twice, isn't it? So now we are able to generate 4 lakh 26 thousand megawatt of electrical energy. We have that much of installed capacity. so this is a fantastic growth that indian energy sector has shown to you if i compare that out of this installed capacity what is the portion that different units share then the private sector is generating private sector has more number of installed capacity as compared to the government sector the private sector is holding 51.2% share in total installed capacity rest belong to the government sector and when it comes to the government sector the central sector's installed capacity is around 24% and the state sector installed capacity is around 24.8% so now next time if somebody will ask you what is the total installed electrical capacity of india how much we are capable of generating you have an answer and whether we are moving at a fast rate yes we are growing at a very fast rate indian energy sector is growing at a very fast rate what is the share that different sectors are holding this is the data that you have mostly private sector is having more installed capacity more share on the installed capacity now after that if i ask you that which region of india has more installed capacity then if you see this graph now in this graph just see western region of india has most of the plants most of the electricity plant and it says around 34% of the total installed capacity then comes the southern region southern region which has around 28% of the installed capacity then comes the northern region which has around 26% of the total installed capacity then eastern region and northern region they have very low share eastern region has 11% of the share and northern region has only 1% of the total installed capacity so this is the division of the total installed capacity region wise so which part of india has most of the installed capacity it is the western region which comes at the first place then southern region and then comes the northern region eastern region and northeastern region are having less number of power plants then if i talk about that in terms of fuel wise what we are generating how much we are generating then you know that in power plant the fuel that we are using or the type of power plant that we have they can be classified into two categories one might be using fossil fuel and one might be using non fossil fuel so the fossil fuel plants i mean to say thermal power plant which are using coal gas power plant oil power plant all these time kind of power pl power plant they have their share around 56% now when it comes to renewable energy wind power wind power solar power hydro power and other type of sources they have their share around 44% so just see 44% of electrical energy plants that we have installed capacity that we have belongs to renewable energy and 56% belongs to non renewable do you know the problem with fossil fuel is that they generate a lot of such kind of project which are not good for the environment they are also responsible for the global warming as well the more number of renewable energy plant that we will have 
the more better environment we will be having. And you know, India is accelerating a way faster growth. India has shown a way faster growth in that particular reason. We are moving at a very faster rate to becoming or to having more number of installed capacity in terms of renewable energy. So what is the total share of renewable energy? 44%. What is the share of non-renewable plants? It's around 56% of the total installed capacity. So this is the fuel wise classification. Now you must be wondering what is this renewable and non-renewable. So when it comes to renewable, we are talking about wind power plant, solar power plant, hydro power plant means we are using natural sources to generate the electricity. When it comes to non-renewable and we are using natural sources without generating a lot of pollutant. When it comes to non-renewable sources, we are using coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear type of power plant, okay, which are also creating some pollutant as well, okay. But you know the future is in renewable energy because all these non-renewable energy sources like coal, gas, they will not last longer than more than 45 years. In the upcoming 45 years, they are dying at a very faster rate. So what will happen? They, esti they are estimated to adjust 45 years and 65 years respectively. So after that, there will be, I think we can consider that there will be no more coal, no more gas will be available and, and, and no more oil will be available. In, and that will be a very tough situation for countries like India. And that's why India has shown a rapid growth in terms of renewable energy sources. Okay. So right now we are generating almost 44% of our requirement through renewable energy sources. And that's a very good thing. Now let's talk about the future or the Indian energy sector future growth. What is the future? Where is the future lying? So as I told you that India is looking towards more and more renewable energy sources. We are working very at, at a very faster rate. And this table will show you. Just see, in the year 2020, in the year 2010, the participation of renewable energy is around, only around 16%. And rest of the 84% was coming from the fossil fuel plants, non-renewable plants. In the year 2020, this has raised to around 7%. And now in the year 2020, 23% of the installed capacity involves renewable energy and rest 77% involves non-renewable energy plants. Then it is estimated that up till year 2030, India will be capable of generating 50% of their requirement through the renewable energy, through the wind, solar and what we can say hydropower plants. Okay, In which the solar power plants and wind power plant have shown a rapid growth. So just see, in the year 2010, we were able to generate only 23% of the renewable energy. And now what is the share that we are contributing in terms of renewable energy? In the year 2024, 44% of our installed capacity involves the renewable energy. So in these four years, India has shown a rampant growth in terms of renewable energy. And if we will keep on moving at that faster rate, I'm pretty sure instead of 2030, in the upcoming three years, we will be able to reach up to this target of 50%. And soon we will see the day when the renewable energy part will be more as compared to the fossil fuel. Means India is moving ahead towards becoming more and more energy sufficient and will be having that energy which is reliable, which is efficient, which is sufficient also for the company, for the, for the uh, country's need as well. And in this way, we are contributing to the environment as well. We will be reducing the global warming as well. So we'll be having a sustainable growth and we will be having so many national, international impact as well, which you people know. So this is how the Indian energy sector is right now moving or growing. Okay, as compared to 2012, we have almost increased our installed capacity at twice at the, twice the rate of what we have in the year 2012. In the year 2012, we have almost 2 lakh megawatt 
of installed capacity right now we are having or almost around 4 lakh 26 thousand megawatts megawatts of capacity in the year 2012 we were having renewable energy participation only around 16 percent rest of the electricity was coming from the fossil fuel plants and right now the renewable energy participation means green energy participation safe energy participation pollution free energy participation is around 44 percent and the way we have shown this growth soon we will be able to achieve this 50 percent target so it is estimated to be achieved in the year 2030 but i am pretty sure the way we are growing we will be able to achieve it in the next three years and if you will keep on just showing this growth soon will be the day where the renewable energy participation will be more as compared to the fossil fuel plants and you can see the total installed capacity of renewable energy sources right now in India is around 1,87,059 megawatt which is around 44% of the total installed capacity. So we have grown that much faster in the area of renewable energy. You know in the year 2010 the participation of renewable energy is around 16%. We were only capable of generating somewhere around 80,000 megawatt of renewable energy which right now has increased up to 44% of the total installed capacity and right now we are able to generate almost 187,000 megawatt. So we have shown a rampant increase, rampant growth, very rapid growth in renewable energy sector. And you know who is the major contributor? Majority of the renewable energy plants are solar power plant. India now also having floating power solar power plants as well. Then. 25% of renewable energy is coming from wind power plant and hydro power plant contribution is around 26%. 9% share is coming from other type of power plants, some, somewhere like waste management power plants, some small hydro power plants as well. So we have shown that much growth in terms of renewable energy and if we will keep on growing with that much rate, soon we will that day when the renewable energy participation will be more as compared to the non-renewable energy participation and that day will be the biggest day for India. Energy is a very important commodity for the development of any country. You know, right now we are having the installed capacity of 4,26,000 megawatt which is much, much higher than the installed capacity of so many Asian countries and European country, countries when combined together. So we are moving at a much faster rate and we are moving in the right direction. If you will keep on moving in that much rate, that much faster rate, soon we will the day when the ener renewable energy participation will reach the height and we will be able to generate more amount of installed uh, plants will be of renewable energy as compared to non-renewable energy. And that day we will become energy efficient. The energy is a very important commodity for any country as I said earlier. The more, imp more energy sufficient or energy efficient the country will be, it is Im directly impact impacting to the development of the, of the country. And you know that if the participation is more from renewable energy, it is impacting some international parameters as well. We will be contributing less towards the global, global warming and that's how less number of sanction and so many other things I'm not going to go. I'm not trying to go into that domain, but you know that lot of advantage we will, we will be having if we will be able to reduce our CO2 emission rate as well. So in that way, globe, uh, renewable energy is going to help us. So energy is a very important com commodity and the sustainable growth of any country somehow depends upon the energy sector as well. So that's how you have seen the complete power sector of India at a glance. And the way we are growing, if we will keep on growing, it will be very good for the development of our country. So I hope you really like the content of this video. Now somebody, if, will, uh, if someone will ask you that how much is the total installed capacity, your answer will be 4,26,000 megawatt. What is the participation of renewable energy? 44%. What is the participation of non-renewable energy? 56%. Up till the year 2030, we will be able to generate 50% of our requirement, even more than 50% the way we are growing. We will be able to have, gen we will be able to generate more than 50% from renewable energy. So that's the end of this video. This, this is what I wanted to share with all of you. And this data what I have shared with you, this is important information that I have shared with you will be very much 
beneficial for you. So guys, do not forget to subscribe our channel, like the session and also share this session amongst your group so that everybody will see this video and will get the benefit and will get the required amount of knowledge about the power sector of India as well. And just join the telegram channel of IMS Gate Academy. The link is given in the description box so that you will get a regular feed about all these kind of information and knowledge sharing we will be able to do with each other. And you will get daily quizzes related to gate and other competitive exams. You will get gate related information and PSUM job notification as well. So join the telegram group immediately if you haven't done it till now. And if you really like the teaching and learning methodologies of IMS Gate Academy, I will highly recommend you to join the Gate 25 and 26 live online program of IMS Gate Academy where we are offering 800 plus hours of live classes with live interaction and we are giving you some good quality of content in terms of theory book, exercise book, gate question bank. Theory book and gate question bank and exercise book. Exercise book contains 4000 questions and our online test series which has 130 plus test contains 3000 questions. If you prepare that many number of questions, you can just crack any of exam of the world related to engineering. And gate is a very long journey. You need constant motivation and strategic session as well. So we are offering you 12 personalized one-to-one -one mentorship session, which will be most beneficial for you in terms of getting guidance throughout this journey. So what are you waiting for? Just book a free counseling session on call by calling on this number. The information is also given in the description box. So anytime you can join IMS Gate Academy. And that will be a good practice that you will do with yourself in order to just prepare well for the gate exam. So that all that I wanted to share with you guys in this session, I hope you really like the content, you really like the information that I have given you. So subscribe the channel, like the uh, session and share it as well and keep on motivating us in terms of sharing and liking the sessions as well. So thank you so much. Thank you.